Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you what a slicer is, how to use one, and the safety behind 3D printing. So, to get started, we're going to log in into the, our default browser, in my case Safari, because I'm using Mac, and we're going to type in Ultimate and Ultimate Maker Cura is basically what we want and we're going to click download for free. Right now you're using Windows, you're going to click Windows 6 bit. I'm going to delete it because I've already have it installed and you're going to click the one that suits your operating system. So, I already have it installed so I'm going to go in. But if you haven't had don't have it installed, you're going to create an account and from then on you're going to follow us, but first create an account, because if not, it won't let you do anything. Then, what you're going to do is, you're going to go into prepare, and you're going to click here, in the part where it says, in my case, any cubic Viper, but that's my 3D printer, and you're going to click add printer, and you're going to say adding non-network printer, and you're going to click enter 3. That's the school's 3D printer. In my case, my school's 3D printer. The brand name is Creality. And then we're going to pick our model, which is the Ender 3, Creality Ender 3. Okay. Now, once we have it, we're going to delete that part because we don't have the version 2. And we're going to click Add. Next thing you'll see is a print bed. This is called the build plate with the Ender logo. So once you have that, now we're gonna, uh, we've already downloaded Cura and we've set up the printer. Now I'm gonna explain the basic settings that w you will need to understand to be able to slice a model successfully. By slicing, I mean a 3D printer melts plastic at 200 degrees Celsius, between 190 and 260 degrees Celsius and in lines. So it basically fuses molten plastic together to end up with a result like this. So basically what it does is the slicer slices it into thin layers. So the 3D printer understands and is able to complete lines. It's not able to do a whole shape. It does lines, but the slicer t tells it how to do lines. So basically the, the greater the layer height, the less quality the model will have. On average, when you're using a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, your layer height will be 0.2. If you use a 0.6, your layer height will be 0.3. The average rule of thumb is to basically have your no nozzle size to get your standard layer height. Then, initial layer height. You can increase this to help it stick onto the build plate, the thicker it is, the first layer, the easier it will be. Next we'll do is you have to understand 3D printed models are not solid. Solid, They're basically composed in the interior of perimeters and in the interior they're composed of infill. It's basically lines and a grid pattern or a different pattern to fill in the gaps. So, for now, we'll not look at anything else, but we'll keep 20% infill and we'll keep it cubic. Next thing is material. We'll be printing with PLA, so the material is already set. Next thing is speed. It's already pre-configured for our printer. Um, and cooling. Cooling is very important because right now we know that the first layers are the toughest if a printer is either not leveled or not calibrated properly, you'll not get a good model. The first layers are crucial to our success of the 3D printed model. So we'll disable cooling for the first layers. So um, we're basically going to put um, regular fan speed at layer three, that's already set up, and um, everything is done. So. Now, next step is to download a model. We're going to go into your default browser, in my case, Safari, and we're going to type printables. Then you're going to click login. And I already have an account. That's why I'm already logged in. But you'll create an account. Next thing we're going to do is 
see the format we use for 3D printing is STL. So we're gonna go into 3D models and we're going to download a 3D Benchy. That's the average thing we use for 3D printing. So as a test, we're going to download the Benchy. So we type in Benchy and we log we get it here and we say 3D Benchy from Prusa Research. None of the other ones, those are not official. Go into 3D Benchy and we click download. And we're not gonna download the G code. G code is a format we send to our 3D printer directly, but that's for another type of printer. So we're gonna download the STL. Once we have it in our downloads, we're gonna go back into Cura and we're gonna click this button and go into your file system and import. As you can see, the red parts are called overhangs. Those parts are layers that are not being supported by anything else. In this case, it's fine because it's designed to be printed like that, but certain models may need to have supports to make sure that it doesn't droop down. The top bit is called a bridge. It's not ideal, but Printers can do bridges. It's quite easy for them as long as it's straight lines because it just runs and does a bridge. So th that's why cooling is so important. Now we're gonna click slice and it'll slice and it, it tells us it's gonna take 12 grams of filament and it's gonna take um, one hour and 54 minutes, almost two hours. That may be a lot, but it's a plastic piece. It's like creating anything you want in your dreams, literally printing it out of the of nothing. Then we're going to be able to see how it's sliced in layers. What I was telling you before, this is the layers I'm talking about. So as you can see here, we can control the layer we're seeing and um, I'm gonna show you the infilament. So as you can see, the interior of the boat is not actually solid. It looks and feels solid, but it's a grid pattern. So um, as you can see, it's sliced into individual layers and that's what our printer will detect. Next thing we're gonna do is plug in an SD card and click save to SD card. Once you have that, you're gonna plug it into the to the 3D printer, in our case, an Ender 3, and start the print. If you see anything going wrong with it, please stop the print and make sure you understand fully how it's working. Next thing we're gonna do is safety. Okay, safety in 3D printing is very important. There are moving parts and we don't want to put our finger inside. We want us to be able to tweak with the printer but not interfere while it's printing that's very important most of the time when you have to tweak something on the printer you'll do it while it's stopped you don't need to do it while it's on so um that's safety and another thing we have to be very very careful with it it's not just the nozzle that's at 200 degrees it's the whole print surface that's at 90 degrees that will also burn so that's all for this video and please stay safe Thanks again and see you in the next video.